In celebration of Geek Week on YouTube, we've decided to look at the top three celebrity women who totally represent the geek chic look, and we've chosen the best bits from the high street to help you get the geek chic look. So first up, we have the hipster geek. Best personified, I think we can all agree, by Zoe Deschanel. Not only in her character from New Girl, Jess, um, but also in the way she dresses on the red carpet, She's kind of got that Brooklyn, East London, hipster vibe yeah. going on. It's like, I'm so mm. cute, I can be a geek. Exactly. <laughs> and some might say it's slightly faux geek, but it's definitely chic geek, I would say. What, how do you guys feel about yeah, that? Yeah, I think her personality through and through, she's always, right from the first movie I saw of her, which I think was probably Elf, <laughs> she always plays that kind of kooky girl who maybe probably picks up mismatching yeah. socks, but it might have been on purpose, it might not have been on purpose. I think authentically she's probably quite geek through and through, what with her guitar playing and her folk singing. and I do too, and actually on that point, I remember seeing a picture of her with no fringe, no bangs, blonde, looking actually just, you know, a like standard, a girl. bland American star. And then reading that she said when she had hair like that, she just didn't feel like herself. And unless there's all, you know, the fringe and glasses, like this, for example. <laughs> she's, <laughs> so she's you the know, all-round she girl geek. She's the whole package of Chrissy almost. Yeah, she's quite prim. You're not yeah. going to find her in a short mini no. dress. No, She's not some nice body she's con number. Who sexual appeal does she? No. Oh, I think boys would, dis you know, a lot of boys would disagree it's with so that. That's true. I know really? a lot of boys yeah. who really have a thing for it's the librarian Zoe Deschanel. Yeah, thing, but it is the librarian and thing. She, but You know, she's like cute and you probably want to take her home and like make some toast or but she's, she's all about to write laugh, a kooky but poem. But she's not the typical Hollywood starlet. No, she? not at all, no. but that exactly. probably works in her favour because there's enough of those yeah. already. And she also brings, when she wears stuff like Oscars or Renta to uh, the Golden Globes and to the Oscars, she still has that kind of geeky vibe about her in yeah. terms of what she accessorises it with. It always seems a little bit mismatched, but so right at the same time. And she time. still looks a bit kind of awkward, yeah. which is cute. Yeah. It's really endearing. I think she's genuine. So second geek on our geek girl list is Jenna Lyons of J Crew. I would say I'm naming her a stealth geek. Right. Because it's a good label. Yeah, yeah. She's quite fierce with her geek kind of attitude. She got the glasses. Yeah. She's got the boyish tailoring, yeah. but there's always a pair of killer heels. There's always a perfectly kind of mismatched color palette and a shoulder robed coat. There's nothing awkward about her. No. no. Nothing gawky, it's just that she's a bit tomboyish. Yeah. It's like a streamlined geek. Yeah. Yeah, like button up, like shirt is all the way up there, but it's perfectly crisp and really gorgeous, white, gorgeous shirt rather than something that's a little bit, you know. Yeah, it's not young and girly and no. studenty mm -hmm. at all. She's exactly. definitely a kind of the epitome of of the cool take yeah, it's refined. on this trend. It's very considered as well. You think? Yeah, I think also in terms of like when you look at Zoe, she kind of seems a bit more like oh God, let's pull this together. Like the actual mentality of Geek was her. She actually brings it together and I think this is a very carefully considered colour palette here, for instance. Like it's not mismatched, it's not not No, it's not through. thrown together, yeah. but then she's a fashion force to be reckoned yeah, exactly. with. And her, exactly. her ability to style and layer and yeah. kind of mix things together, unexpected combinations together of what is making J. Crew yeah. stand out from pretty much everybody else. Maybe on the weekend, she just kind of takes down a notch with some loafers, yeah. little cashmere. Instead Goes of the a heel. Bit, yeah. yeah, a little bit preppy. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but she has kind of reinvented the idea of preppy, which yeah. is such an American Which is why she's a stealth geek. She is, exactly. super stealth. Next up, we have Alexa Chung, who we've nicknamed the girly geek. Oh, yeah. So, Alexa's a little bit like Zoe about the full skirt. She has always a great little cable knit thrown over the That's top. A That's a nana knit. That's a nana knit. Through and through. Yeah. And then she's, you know, putting on the little um, play suit, dungarees. Mm -hmm. And then she's putting on like a nice little blouse underneath. It's all it's very... It's always very feminine. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it does have that kind of nerdy, cool mm -hmm. aspect to it. But she does take it down, like you said, like a nana yeah. route with the flat pointy shoes and these kind of, I think she's got some clip-on earrings on there. That's quite a ish thing to do, but because she's so kind of angelic looking, yeah. she carries it and off. She's a big fan of the loafer. Penny loafer. Loves them. Penny loafer. Yeah, she really brought those back a few years ago onto the scene. And since then they've remained as quite a regular new season. Just as current update. as they were yeah. then. 
Definitely. And I think what all of these women have is like it's such a different way to present yourself from the mm -hmm. way that we are used to seeing in yeah. the media. It's not overtly sexualized. That doesn't no. mean that it doesn't have some sex appeal to like it. Like Zoe, because exactly. obviously the librarian. Exactly, but it's just not in your face. And I think, I mean, for that reason, they're great sartorial role models. Yeah, because they're not all about the body con dresses, no. a boob here, a boob mm. here. And what Alexa does really well is when her hemline does go up, she does get the flat shoes out. Yeah. And I can remember, I mean, years and years and years ago, when I was on a shoot with her and she's like, you know, I don't do my hair for the red carpet and I might paint my nails, but they might be chipped or whatever. You know, it's that kind of slightly laissez-faire, mm -hmm. whatever. It's not, it's not so put together. You get the feeling that she's just dresses like this on the yeah. weekend. So next up, the question is how to get the geek chic wardrobe. There are those kind of geek signatures, aren't yeah. there? And I'd say definitely one of those is like the tart and kilty type skirt. This one from Topshop for £48 is a great example. Yeah. It's that midi length, it's totally got that librarian thing yeah. going on. And a bit granny as well. A yeah. bit granny If you're going to go well. a bit Alexa. It's Alexa meets Zoe. A there lot of go. girls last year, I think we picked up on this during autumn, winter, they were actually going to vintage stores and buying genuine mm -hmm. school kilts. Yeah. yeah. So this is a kind of softer take on it, more fashion yeah, take. and it's lovely colourways, isn't it? And that mm. peachy tones with the pale blue, I think works really nice. And too. many people, non-geeks, would balance out a midi skirt with a heel. Yeah. yeah. But true geeks we'll would do it with wear a, a flat. Yeah. yeah. Namely. 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 Here we go. <laughs> this is the penny loafer to yeah. have. Yeah. From that. Russell and Bromley. They've been doing them for yonks and they're, it's their 30th anniversary of the, the Heritage yeah, label, I think, I think this year. Right. So once again, be important on the shoe. They have a brogue, a loafer, and every kind of colour. Yeah, a monk yeah. strap. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All of these are very geek friendly. Yeah. Definitely geek. Friendly. And they're just, they wear so well sure. as well. The more you wear them, the, the better they kind of look. And then we've got a kind of Zoe kind of feeling going on here with this Peter Pan collar little geek dress. Um, this one's by Boutique by Diego and it's £80. I think, you know, that's a classic throw it on immediately, you've got the geek look. Yeah. Pop on your glasses, again, mm. pop on your little penny loafers. And you don't need to do anything else. No. Job done. Then if you were going to go a bit Alexa yeah. with the granny knit, seal the deal, Yeah. you'd go for this Needle It, which is a brand new um, knitwear brand launching this autumn. So you've got the roll neck, which is a bit J. Crew, yeah. a little bit of cable knit going on there as well. And you could just, you could throw that over the skirt if you wanted to, to mm -hmm. really seal the deal, go granny, geek. Then moving on to our final number, a little bit more out there, yeah. but we thought we had to represent. <laughs> the true geek. The true geek. So this is a really fun t-shirt from Top Man. Um, you know, Marvel comics, comic books. Big yeah. Bang Theory type geek going yeah. on there. Yeah, and Comic Con was only last week, of which course. is super popular with all of those young girls who are starring mm. in all the exactly. Marvel movies. Because comics are having a bit of a comeback now, aren't they? Like, people you wouldn't usually expect to go to like the cinema to see things like Superman, and now you've got people like Homer Rhett's and things, like with Kick-Ass. Young girls really want to go and tap into these sci-fi things out, and Jennifer yeah. Lawrence. It's, it's cool become to be cool a geek, again. Of course. But I mean, I think this, you wouldn't want to go too literal. So oh, maybe no. you'd pair it with a, a really cute. Um, like a know, little denim skirt or something. Yeah. Like that. Or cut off shorts. Yeah. And it'd look really cute, I think, with Converse or something yeah. like that. I yeah. I wouldn't put the glasses with this. It might be a bit too much. <laughs> yeah, these are not all to be worn <laughs> together. <laughs> Just to be clear, <laughs> let us know what you thought about our picks in the comments below and make sure you subscribe to Fashtag.